New information tonight into that deadly crash on I-95 we told you about last night. A 14-year-old girl was killed and her 17-year-old brother injured. Tonight we're hearing from their mother. My son called me from a strange number, screaming and hollering that somebody had hit him and my daughter was in the car. The car exploded. 14-year-old Kamaya Norris died in that fiery crash. Her 17-year-old brother, Kion Newton, was taken to the hospital and we're told is still in critical condition after a good Samaritan pulled him from the car. News for Jack's reporter Eric Abonye joining us live after speaking with their mother and that good Samaritan who rushed in to try and help, Eric. Yes, Kenyatta Williams son and daughter were in the process of delivering homemade chocolate-covered strawberries when that crash happened. The mother of 14-year-old Kamaya Norris says her daughter loved to dance and loved to make chocolate-covered strawberries. And she sells them um, online, and she was doing her deliveries at the time of the accident. The accident that killed Kamaya and critically injured her 17-year-old brother. According to Florida Highway Patrol, the siblings were traveling south on I-95 when, for some reason, their car stopped just south of Gulf Air Boulevard. FHP says an SUV ran into the back of their car, causing the car to catch on fire. Williams says she spoke with her son right before the crash. My son had called me and told me he hit a pothole or something in the road, and the car was driving funny, and it just wouldn't go no more. And he was stopped in the far right lane, and he couldn't just move the car out the road. So I made sure he had the flashers on and everything, and I told him that my son and my old man was on the way, and we hung up. Moments later, their car was hit and caught on fire. A good Samaritan who asked not to be identified witnessed the crash and raced toward the fiery vehicle where he saw the 17-year-old driver. The kid was, you know, yelling, help, get him out. So I helped get him out. The Good Samaritan was burned in the process, but says he will be all right. Unfortunately, he was not able to save Kamaya. He says he met with Kamaya's parents at the hospital. All I can say is I'm sorry for your loss. I wish I could have done more. Old mother, son, was ventilator today and was last listed in critical but stable condition. What caused the car to stop remains under investigation. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Purple Station.